More Star Telegram highlights ahead. Well, there's one local program that finally has its first win ever on the board. At Colleyville Heritage High School, one victory can mean more than you might think. Here's George Dunham with this week's cover story. Last Friday was an historic night in Grapevine. The Colleyville Heritage Panthers got their first win in school history with a 17 to nothing win over Azel. Last year was the first season for the Panthers to compete at the varsity level, and the program suffered through a long 0-10 season. But the 97 team has a different look, more depth, experience, and even a star running back in Tellus Redmond who transferred from Grapevine. The thing I remember most is coming out that second half, getting the ball, going downfield, and scoring. And uh, you know that was the kind, that was the thing that, to me, set us apart from from how we were last year. Because last year we had a hard time coming back from setbacks. And this year, you know, we took them in stride and went on and, and did some good things. Finally, I went home and I was laying down. And I was going to bed, and I said, you know, we won a game. We won a game, and it was it was a great feeling. And it, you know, you know, you're right. It wasn't like coming home and thinking, ooh, man, we know we really, we really got smoked this week, you know, by another team really hard. You know, we came out, we did it. We did what we had to do, and uh, we got our first win. It's great. I didn't have nightmares for the first time on a Friday night during the fall. It was a feeling that I've missed for a long time, and I'm, I'm glad I got to have that feeling again. Folks in Colleyville are talking football, and the students who packed the stadium last Friday are showing off their school spirit. Yeah, it's really exciting because, we, you know, we never won before, and it's just fine when we scored all the touchdowns. And... I think it was good good for everybody. Um, you know, it, it, everything kind of centers around that game, and, and um, when, when you win, then, then I think the whole school gains from it. And uh, I've, I've seen everybody walking around with a little more pride this week. With the win comes a change in attitude. There's already a little swagger to this Colleyville Heritage team. Well, I have to say I'm going to call it the duck dance. Everybody calls it the duck dance. So I think I'm going to come out with, if I make a touchdown every Friday, I'm going to come out with a new dance. So I don't know. Y'all can be ready for that. Flush here. We, we didn't score that much, and we didn't really get an opportunity to do too much dances. So whether it's a kiss or a shuffle, it's fine with me, just as long as we're scoring. <laughs> Building a winning tradition takes time, but the students and the football players here at Colleyville Heritage are proving that it doesn't take long to establish school spirit. For Sonics Inside High School Football, I'm George Dunham. Coming up next, more scores and highlights, plus a local program goes national on a cereal box. We'll tell you that story when we come back on Inside High School Football in a moment.